Hi, my name is Sean Barron. I am a proud principled Republican. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that I cannot vote for Donald Trump. I'm going to do this election is I'm going to vote for Joe Biden at the top of the ticket. And I'm going to vote for Republicans all along the bottom of the ticket. Today I was watching... Today I was watching a spokesperson for the Trump party. And where most people would wear an American flag pin on their lapel, this individual was wearing a Trump pin. And this is something that I have seen. It's something I don't like. I joined the Republican party because I have believe in principles. I believe in ideals. I believe in certain values. I didn't swear allegiance to the Republican party. I didn't swear allegiance to Donald Trump or an individual man. I swore allegiance to ideas, to values, to principles. When I look at Donald Trump, I don't see those values. I don't see those principles. I don't see those ideas. And there's one thing that I never see. Something that some people might consider old fashioned, but something that I still think is worthwhile and this country really needs right now. And that is honor and respect. I'm a proud principled Republican. I do not see my values reflected by the man at the top. I don't recognize his values. <sighs> I'm deeply concerned. I'm deeply concerned that Republicans' commitment to ideas and values and conservative principles is being supplanted by some sort of a bizarre cult of personality. Something that is destructive and wrong. You know, as a principled Republican, when Donald Trump was elected, I said, let's give him a chance. I supported him. I voted for him. I said, you know, maybe he's rough around the edges, but he'll grow into the office. Maybe he's not the most moral person, but the people around him, the Republicans around him, I respect them. I believe in them. They can temper his ego. They can guide him. And one by one, I watched these Republican, these good men and women who I respected tremendously and believed in to guide the president. One by one, I watched them either get fired and humiliated by the president or resign in protest of something terrible that he was trying to do or did. He's not growing into the office. He's not being tempered by the people that surround him. He doesn't reflect my values, my morals. He doesn't embody the discipline and respect and honor that I expect from a Republican candidate. And I can't vote for him. I just can't vote for him again. I gave him every chance, every chance. I made excuses for him. I covered for him. I'm done. I'm done doing that. The man has no respect, no decency, no honor. He doesn't, res he doesn't embody my values or my principles or the ideals that I believe in. And I'll tell you this, when people choose to defend this country or serve this country in some way, they're ordered to swear allegiance to the Constitution, not to the man in office. I joined and caucused with the Republican Party because these are people who have similar ideas to what I believe in. We have similar principles. We have similar goals. We didn't swear allegiance to the party. We didn't swear allegiance to the man in the White House. We swore allegiance to the country. And that's why, as a principled Republican, I have to put, 
I have to put country over party and vote for Joe Biden. Joe's not a socialist. I watch tons of news. I've done the math. I've looked at this guy up and down. He's not a socialist. He's not Bernie Sanders. He's not Elizabeth Warren. He's not AOC. He's a decent, honorable man who has a history of working across the aisle. And after thinking about this and analyzing this and agonizing over this, this lifelong Republican is voting for Joe Biden at the top of the ticket because Donald Trump is that bad. He's that dangerous. You know, right now he's on his best behavior and that should scare you because in the second term, he will not listen to anyone around him. He won't pay attention. He won't be modified. He won't listen. He will do whatever he wants to do. You will see all of the horrible, terrible things that he did in the first term. It'll be that times 10. He won't listen to advisors. He won't listen to experts. He won't listen to anyone. He will do whatever he wants to do, and that should scare you. Joe Biden is a good, safe alternative. He's not a socialist. He's not crazy. He's a grounded, intelligent man who has the ability to work across the aisle and do things that are bipartisan. And this lifelong Republican is going to be voting for Joe Biden at the top of the ticket, and then I'm going to vote for Republicans all the way down the bottom of the ticket. And if you're a Republican like me, and you look at that man, and you don't see your values, you don't see the principle, you don't see the discipline and respect and honor that you would come to expect from someone calling themselves a Republican, you're not alone. I agonized over this decision. I really did. I did the math. And I decided to put country over party. Donald Trump is bad for America. And America is what I care about most. More so than party. More so than some sort of misguided loyalty to the man in the office. I encourage other people to speak out. I know there's a lot of Republicans who feel the way that I do. But feel like they can't speak out because they don't want to receive any kind of backlash or criticism. I would encourage you to not stand by and allow history to happen all by itself. Our democracy demands that we stand up and participate, which means you got to stand up, you got to speak out, you got to say something or find small ways to resist. There have been so many people good Americans who have resigned in protest over the behaviors of this president. And I got the message finally. This guy is bad for our country. He's in it for himself. And this Republican is voting for Joe Biden at the top of the ticket. And Republicans all the way down. Thank you very much. I encourage you to speak up and speak out.